Hey guys, Andrew Murray here. What I want to talk to you about is about mindset, okay? Now, a lot of people, you know, uh, have a phobia of connecting with other people. Um, maybe they're introverts like me or, you know, whatever the case may be. But um, this method works, okay? So what you want to do is as you're doing this method, you want to start working on your mindset, right? So things like Think and Grow Rich, uh, books, you know, maybe you like, uh, you prefer audio books that you can listen to in the car. That's what I did a lot. Um, or on your, your iPhone, you know, get an audio book and start filtering your, your mind um, so that you're, you're preconditioned towards confidence and towards success. Okay, now a lot of people overlook this and trust me, it's not something that you want to overlook. Okay, you need to work on your mindset and, you know, the more that you do, the easier that this method will become. Okay. So here's the thing, you have to understand that these people that you're connecting with, okay, are, you know, they're on social media, social media is an engaged platform, so it's fine, okay. Um, now, worst case scenario, what's the worst that can happen? Some will just say, ah, blah, 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 and then you just block, okay. Very simple, you never have to talk to them or deal with them again, okay, but, you know, chances are you're not even going to face that, you know, um, so I don't, I don't even want to you know, approach that. But the fact of the matter is, you know, the more you learn about mindset, the more you cultivate your own self-confidence, the more you listen to personal development, the more that you grow from doing that, um, you will just really get tremendous results from this method. Now, I should say something else, okay, um, about growth, okay? It's important to grow and, you know, to learn and to, you know, practice. One of the things that people underestimate is the power of practice. Okay, if, you, if I look at the, some of the first videos that I did, you know, just absolutely terrible. I just look terrible. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, everyone's like that, right? So that's why people don't get into, into doing videos and stuff like that. Now I don't care, you know what I mean? Um, so it's just, you know, it's what it is. But you learn best by putting things into practice. Okay, so now you've got the method. Um, See, so th this is the thing, this is the point that I want to make, and I think this is very important. A lot of people, once they've, uh, once they've learned a method, they're like, hmm, you know, conceptually, I understand what I need to do. There's a part of the brain that feels satisfied by that. Okay, so you've satisfied, yeah, I know how to do it, and then you just never get started. Okay, and this happens with everything. You know, it happens with, you know, learning any new skill, from cooking to, you know, how to chop an onion to, um, you know, cross-country skiing, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be. So cross-country skiing is a, is a good example, you know. Um, my son started cross-country skiing when he was five. And, you know, that first time we took him, you know, fall on the ground, you know, fall on the ground, fall on the ground, fall on the ground. Last, uh, you know, this is last winter, we went out for like three or four hours. You know, I, I uh, you know, did a, did a picnic that I carried on my backpack. And, you know, it's one of his core memories, something that just, you know, he just had a phenomenal time with. But we were, you know, skiing the whole time. So what I'm saying is, you know, even though you start off and you may think, or you may even be terrible at this method, you know, you may think, gosh, I am terrible at this. I say the wrong things. I don't know what to say. You know, I don't know how to, how to you know, engage with people. I don't know how to draw a connection. You'll figure that out, you know what I mean? As you're chatting with them, you can look at their profile, see the kind of things that they talk about, they mention, just slip that into the conversation. It will do amazing. But, um, you know, that's the way any learning ha happens, okay? At the first time you try something new, you're gonna be terrible at it. But it's this hockey curve effect. You know, very quickly, if you keep going, very quickly, you're gonna get competent, and then you're gonna get, you know, good, and, you know, then you're gonna get excellent. Okay. So that's kind of the flow of, of how it works. So the important thing is, you know, this conceptual knowledge or thinking that, okay, yes, I understand how to do this, this method is not knowing. Okay. You need to learn things to the point of mastery, which means that you get to the point where you can, essentially you can teach it. Okay. And the way that you get that to, to, to there is simply by practicing, by practicing and doing the method. And you're going to see if you just get through the hard part, which is getting started, you're gonna get better and better and better at it, right? And that's what our goal is, is to really help you guys, you know, um, you know, get to that point of mastery. And the only way you're gonna do it is if you step out of your comfort zone and you go and put it into practice. You're gonna see it's really, really easy. So one of the things that you wanna to commit to doing 
throughout your life is to you know, be able to move into an uncomfortable situation, move out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm calling you to do. That's what I'm imploring you to do right now. You know, your family, um, you know, the, the people that you love, their lives are gonna be richer when you're more confident, when you can step out of your comfort zone. You're gonna be able to reach those dreams that you're trying to get to in your business, but only if you step out of your comfort zone, only if you take action, only if you're willing to progress and go forward and do it, right? So that's my message to you guys, and I really hope this was, was uh, you know, a helpful message. But don't just listen to it. Make sure you put it into action, because that's what's gonna change your life, and that's what we're all about here in this community. All right, thanks.